Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to share with you some of my pachiverias and pachif items and tips how to take care of them. I've realized that over the years that I had this channel I have rarely showed you just this part of my succulent collection and talked about how I take care of them. So today I wanted to start with one that's probably giving me the most joy looking at in the last a few months and that is a Pachiveria Bluebell. This beautiful succulent I have for uh, two years now. I think I purchased it in one of the big box stores, Home Depot or Lowe's, and it of course looked much different, smaller. Look at the beautiful colors on this one. And it has been blooming for me a um, number of times in the last year really cute little yellow blooms look at this beautiful compact rosettes and the color is kind of um, bluish with a little bit of pink on the edges currently has some aerial roots and has total of one two three bigger rosettes two smaller rosettes and one pop coming so when I initially got this plant, I had it outside and then when I would get it inside, I didn't have lights at the time and it would start stretching. It would The color would change a bit more toward green, green-blue, instead of blue-pink like now. And um, I ended up taking it to conservatory. For all of you who watch my channel uh, regularly, you know that I volunteer at the Potawatomi Conservatories in Indiana. And whatever plants have been struggling at my home before I had lights, I would take them to conservatory and they would do wonderful there because there is so much light, especially in the desert dome where basically that's like a glass dome. So there is a lot of uh, sunlight coming in. Uh, but this plant, even when I took it to conservatory, it didn't do very well during the winter time. And maybe it was to do with the location that I picked at the time. But this plant, for me, has done the best under lights. And I actually, as I talk about this collection, I'm gonna to have to tell you that probably more than any of my succulent collection, these plants demand uh, a lot of direct sunlight or lights, if you're living like me in Michigan. <laughs> Kyla is trying to get my attention. Um, so when I, I initially placed it under pink king bow lights and then later in the last probably uh, half a year or more it has been under spider farmer lights and this plant has done beautifully under spider farmer lights. Look at this compact look. Like I said, I am just, I've been enjoying so much every week when I'm watering it to look at this plant. These plants, all of the collection, Pachif items and uh, Pachiverias, they are uh, usually very plumpy plants, so you have to be careful not to overwater them. So, a well draining mix, and if you have a pumice, uh, this would be a good plant uh, to add some pumice into the mixture and make it very airy. Uh, also, They've, they're really good showing you when they're thirsty because all of my uh, Pachyphytum and Pachyverias, they will get a little bit wrinkly and shrink when they're thirsty. So it's really easy to say. Also, they may start losing bottom leaves and they get the dried up and that's going to be a sign that they're thirsty. In my conditions, I usually water them once a week uh, and I just... Uh, water from top and let the water run through so they don't sit in water. Uh, the soil mixture that I have is uh, cocoa brick, espuma, cactus soil, and perlite. Um, I also have, have added some pumice into the mixture with, for these plants. Uh, I have mostly watered it with the rainwater and I did fertilize these plants this year with a succulent fertilizer that I purchased in Home Depot. Sorry guys, Kylo has this tendency to whine and whine and I don't know. Here he is. What do you need, Kyla? Hmm? Do you need some hugs? You having a rough day? Yeah. Okay. 
then he loves just to be held like this. Are you gonna say hi? No? Next one that I'm gonna show you, I have been enjoying uh, a lot as well. And that's why I decided I'm gonna once a month pick some succulents that I really love looking at. And I'm gonna call these videos succulents in the spotlight. And I'm gonna share some tips for caring uh, those varieties that I picked to show you. So the next one from this Pachyphytum collection is this um, Pachyphytum Baby Fingers. Uh, this is Korean import that if you watch my videos, I got two years ago actually. And it was smaller. Look at how much it has grown since. Um, got a few small branches and it has some babies growing uh, from the base here, like this one here, the rosettes. It's absolutely gorgeous. The color is like bluish pink and the compact look. Oh, the, all of these Pachyphytum and Pachyverius are have very unique look and it's really hard to resist them. But like I said, with uh, Pachyveria bluebell that I show you, these demand a lot of light. So if you live like me in Michigan, and uh, even if you have a south facing window, I do have south facing windows. These don't do well because we have days without enough sunlight. Um, the best thing would be to get the lights for these. Uh, watering and soil is the same as the previous one that I have showed you. I have never had this one bloom, so that would be interesting to see. Next one that I'm gonna show you is quite common uh, in uh, nurseries and uh, big box stores like Home Depot and Lowe's, uh, it's Pachyphytum Compactum. It doesn't look like this though when you purchase it. It's, it usually you get like the rosette in a two inch or three inch pot. This is more of an aged bonsai look that looks like a trees with like aged stems. And I love this look. Uh, when I used to have it under pink lights, it had a bit of a reddish tones on it, and now it's mostly blue. But um, beautiful succulent. Again, this one I, uh, doesn't like to be overwatered, or it's it's going to be prone to root rot. Loves a lot of light, so I do not keep this one on natural light during the winter time uh, because it starts stretching. This is uh, Pachyphytum bracteosum. I don't know if I'm saying this well. This is a succulent that I got from trade with uh, Amanda, my friend that, uh, and subscriber that volunteers with me at the conservatory. It has bloomed for me three times already. This is the third time. It has these beautiful dark red-orange blooms uh, and uh, has these chubby leaves that really shrink and uh, then get wrinkly if they're thirsty. So really easy to see when this one is thirsty. Likes a lot of light, uh, purplish blue color. Uh, another thing that I didn't mention for all of these um, varieties of these Pachyphytums is that they have uh, the farina, the coating, powdery coating on top of their leaves. So if you touch them, they will lose that coating and you will see, uh, you know, it, it will look like it's stained. So try not to touch these when you're um, repotting them or if you're trying to propagate a leaf or cut off the bloom. Um, yeah, because they won't look as pretty. And guys, here are my pink moonstones. I also got these uh, as a Korean import um, about a year ago, and I had to chop off all the tops. So this is all the new growth. So I beheaded it because it had such a bad infestation and I don't even know what it was. Um, if it was combination of mealybugs and something else, but um, 
it, it was sticky and they, the growth became distorted on top, but I couldn't really see powdery white stuff that you commonly see when mealybugs are present. So I did spray it a number of times and um, it has done really well outside on a natural light until the winter time, actually fall time when I uh, put it under lights. Currently it's under uh, Barilla lights that I recently purchased. Um, they're a little bit different than a spider farmer and uh, king bow lights and they seem to be doing really well under those lights. Um, I use same soil, same watering um, as with the other Pachyphytums and uh, Pachyberias. Beautiful, beautiful succulent. I find this one a little bit more fussy than any other from the Pachyphytum collection. They either stretch really fast or they are more sensitive to pests. So beautiful looking but uh, can be difficult to care for. And then I have two uh, Pachyphytum's blue stones. Uh, two pots of Pachyphytum's blue stones. This one I have for quite a long time. I think it's like two years. This one actually has a little bit different shaped leaves. I thought that I purchased it as blue stones, but maybe it's some kind of Pachyphytum hybrid. I'm not 100% sure, or maybe it's a blue haze. I don't know, but uh, they have pretty similar looks, uh, bluish pinkish color for that. And you see this one has a very aged look um, because I have it for, for a while. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any more questions about these plants, let me know. Um, until the next video, have a wonderful week.